Oh, hey, there we go. Okay. Start recording. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. I know today we're starting a bit later than normal. Uh, but we are starting today, which is a benefit. Uh, I do plan to still go for two hours today, so... Hopefully you'll all bear with me with the later time slot than usual. Just having dinner with some co-workers tonight. And, uh, well, I didn't get home until about 5.30, so can't really start at 5 at that point. But here we are in Sanctuary Fortress. Now, I... What do we have? We have one key. Um, that's right. We were playing around in the watch station, but I failed on that to come save. So. Now we can go back out there and play around a little bit more. Find out just what we've been missing out on. Ah. You can't keep a good Samus down. However, Resbits still difficult to hit with a very slow moving beam. Okay. So, we were we were playing around the spider ball puzzles. No, just regular. There's a portal to the dark world in here somewhere that presumably we have to go through all the spider ball nonsense to get to. So that being said, let's let the nonsense begin. Because even if we wanted to, going through that door there isn't going to get us anywhere. Because I don't have the beam required. Intended to have to restart all of this, but you know, it's fine. But I doubt there's going to be anything, anything worth actually coming through this room to see. Yeah. Just a very rude robot. All right, that was easy enough. Didn't know there'd be another one right away. Although I think this room is somewhat important because I think there's a key, a temple key in here. interface with this right now anyway. Sonic security system. Sonic detection gear needed to interface. Shoot the echo gate with a sonic pulse to learn the combination of its sonic locks. Unlock the lock. Yeah. So need the annihilator beam to open that up, which we do not have at this moment in time. It's a waste of dark ammo to deal with the resbits, but I need to deal with the resbits because if they shoot me while I'm up on the spider tracks, I need 
gets so mad. So I'm just gonna deal with them now. There. Okay. Now we can get down to spider ball puzzling. By puzzling, I mean just not getting knocked off of the huge spinny discs while trying to make our way to the bomb slot. And there is a quick way to somehow physics and jump up things to get there. I don't know what it is. Ah. Look at that. Helpful little tricks by the devs. Okay, so we got to this thing. Ah, here we go. Ow. Okay. Unfortunate. Start over. Hi, Ozzy. Glad to see you could make it today. We're just having fun as a ball for now. That almost wasn't good. There's some joy to be had in being a ball, and that I don't have to forcibly aim my hand at the television the whole time. Simply simply let my hand relax. There we go. That's what we were here for. Alright, what nonsense is in this room? Ah, one of the keys. Hey! Oh, you terrible, terrible man. I'm even lower on light ammo. Okay, so we have three doors out of here. One I can't use. Oh, two I can't use, technically. One is an any only. Another is for annihilator access only. going to be like the room in the other temple whereby shooting these guys just spawns more of them. Okay, it looks like there are a finite amount. Oh, come on. jump and down here which I was not expecting to lead to another light portal but here we go this is a lot of effort to open up a door who designed this um it's a very good question it's hard to say if it was the Luminoth or if this was all mucked about with afterward 
my money's on. It was all mucked about with afterward. Right, let's just let's just give you a nap. Ooh, hello. We finally found a very good treat. Uh, Luminoth Vault Chamber. Vault is composed of numerous super alloys, all of Luminoth origin. No known weapon system can destroy the structure. I'm more interested in the treat inside. The screw attack. Which I'm excited to finally get my grubby little hands on. Alright, so what... Okay, the whole the whole thing is a scanny thing. And, okay, we have a bomb slot to initiate all of this nonsense. So there's a portal down there. It's interesting to note. There's another portal over there. Uh, bridge. Ah. Ah, okay, so you get over here and it basically says no, you're locked in here until you get until you get the cool item. Fair enough. The question is, how many terrible things are waiting for me on the other side of this gate? Uh, apparently not a lot of terrible things, just... I stand corrected. There's bugs. It's worse than I thought. There we go. Last of the Dark Flyers. Dark War Wasp. Darkling Possessed Aerial Hunter. Sturdy insect getting strength for any possession. It retains the ability to fire blasts of energy. Vicious and swift, the War Wasp is a prime target for young Ing eager to join the war effort. They appreciate the flying speed and numerous attacks the, the insect possesses. If they prove their metal in the War Wasp, these Ing often graduate to the control of larger, deadlier creatures. 80% of all logbook scans downloaded. Yes, but at the end of the day, they are still just war wasps. Does that mean there's a hive up there? Yeah, they're just standard hives. They don't have anything. They're not special dark hives. Which would be interesting as hell. Dark hives. I'm trying trying to get the treat. They put it in a really strong box. Making me do all sorts of crazy puzzles to get to it. What? Alright, you know what? see any more of them, but that doesn't mean anything. Whoa! What the? Samus? Can we not just roll straight off? Please not just roll straight off of ledges. That would be fantastic. No. 
okay, Samus, really gonna need you to stop doing that. Like, now would be fantastic. If you could, if you could just stop doing that altogether. Ow. That's enough out of you. Okay. Didn't roll off the edge that time. Doesn't matter, fell off. Okay, now that I'm terribly low on both light and dark ammo, making any cool future beams I find disastrously low on it. Okay, so now the unfortunate part is that I still have to jump back through the dark world, get back across the room, so that I can get my treat. I mean, isn't the worst thing ever, but it is slightly obnoxious. <sighs> we are getting a very cool item out of all this, so I can't be too upset. And straight through. Now, just to go and activate the bomb slot. And we get the goodie. So, it makes me wonder why the Luminoth specifically had a copy of the screw attack. Locked away in their vault. Because it, it's definitely a Chozo item. It appears in the first game. And there we go. It's not as cool as it is in 2D Metroids. But it's still really cool. And it technically comes with its own version of Space Jump. Or at least it has a more 2D version of the Space Jump. Oh, okay, they stacked up on each other and died for it. I'm okay with that. Uh... Alright, so the question then becomes... What do heck? What do now? That is... That's the vault. Torvis. No. Sort of the problem with this is just the way that everything is. Up. Uh, so we would come out down in here. Oh, 
which there's little point to. So at this point, it's about finding some place on the map that we haven't been yet. Because that is where we're likely to find something new and exciting. The issue is just figuring out Aha. Aha. Maybe. I don't know. I think. Uh, we'll leave this with you guys. It's a surprise tool that will help later. Well, okay. One more later. Samus, I'm glad this screw attack is here. Convenient. Uh, okay. So, I need... Okay, I'm here. That's the Torvus. Agon is all the way over there. So. Whoop. Fall down the hold. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot. Unless the hint system decides to reward me with some other information along the way. Other than that, I have no... I currently have no ideas on where I need to go. Ow, oh, I thought I had that. Alright, but have you considered... No. drop down from that. Oh. Oh. I've been virused. just actually in the way. Alright. Go the correct way this time. Instead of just dropping straight down like a heckin' fool. that one with my face. Gen genuinely forgot this item. You forgot about Resbits? We've been fighting a lot of them. Uh, 
They're rather rude. They have a lot of nasty little tricks. Wait a second, I'm forgetting. I'm I'm completely forgetting. Look at the the freaking to explore more around in the dark world. Cyrus guys? Forever. Oh yeah. It's it's both neat and very concerning to be hit with the virus attack. It's neat because when you reboot the suit you get all sorts of cool little lore information. It sucks because you can't do anything. Okay, so I want to get over. Over here. Yes. Ow! Oh. Okay, cool. We need to do the cross this time. The Hive Reactor. Angry boy. There it was expensive. That's very interesting that a charge shot from the dark beam was still able to stun it while it had um, the dark shield up. I would not have expected that by any stretch. But hey, killed it, so... Alright, I think... I think there's a key outside. I think that's what's in the bridge area. And there might be an ammo station... over here. Because this is the map chamber. Ordinarily. Yes. Cool. Oh. It's getting concerned. It's running out of things to shoot to get ammo back. No. There's something up there. Okay, no. Not here. In the light world, there's something up there. But I need the light suit to ride that rail. Oh, 
Yep. So what? What are we hiding out here, huh? Yeah, you can scan these. Analysis complete. Target is part of dark energy processing system. Power from these globes is transferred to other parts of the hive. Alright, so just a little rest point. I don't have a scan on these things. Ing larva swarm. Large pack of hunting infants. Swarm is largely harmless. Infants will avoid bright light when possible. Ing larvae travel in swarms for protection. They are weak with no real defenses or attacks. The few that make it to adulthood are quite cunning and vicious. Well, I would imagine so. This isn't even a charged light bubble and they were dying to it. Another light rail that I need the light suit to ride on. There's some purpose to being out here, I know that. Oh. Uh, I know what the purpose is, and it's nothing I can deal with right now. There's a, there's a, a main key up there. You need the light suit to ride that up there and then screw attack all the way across. Nothing, nothing in particular over here. Oh, that was unfortunate. This was an informative, if overall, worthless trip. Just backtrack point, uh, point to be aware of to backtrack to later. I need to get back to the back to there. And that'll get me a key. No, you can you can stay down there and play by yourself. play this game because I win.
That's all there is to it. I have the tools and the technology to just completely invalidate everything that you're doing. So, 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 no, wrong, this one, there we go, uh, let's cut back across there, cut through the reactor again, back to room search, okay, on through the portal, and then try and get up to that other door, I guess. That seems like the ticket. I'm just throwing things at the wall and trying to and seeing what sticks now. That ink smasher will come alive at some point, I know it. They all do. At least I think they all do. Entirely sure anymore. We're just gonna Yes, hello. Yes, put your shield up. Save yourself. Because this is the place with the door that goes up to the key. I have a feeling I'm going to end up faffing about so much trying to get this. Please lock on my Emonies. easier to get up to than I thought it would be. Ah, this is why. Wall jumping in three dimensions. And by three dimensions I mean it's two dimensions because trying to do that in 3D would be nerve-wrackingly difficult. game kind of just handholds you on that, which is fine by me. Oh, I guess we can scan these now, too. Wall jump surfaces. Uh, area designed to work with screw attack. Form screw attacks while facing and touching this wall to do a wall jump. The surface was designed to be used in conjunction with the screw attack system. Perform screw attacks while facing and touching wall to do a wall jump. Which, I mean, never need it in any other game to do that, but hey, this isn't any other game, so. One of three keys needed to open a dark temple. And barrier down. Still doesn't help because I still don't know where I need to go to get the last key now. Uh, okay, never mind. I have an idea. Yeah, bye. Have a beautiful time. No one wants to deal with you, you stupid jerks. I'm leaving. I'm going away. Look, seriously, the joke's on you if you don't think I'm just going to spend five missiles. Ten missiles, I guess.
This is the way I want to go, isn't it? Yes, okay. We want to hop back over here, which technically I don't need to use the grapple beam for that anymore. I could very much just, you know, jump across it because I'm cool like that now. Okay. So now, now we go into whatever room is... side of this that I've apparently yet to go through. That was the wrong beam. There, I got that for you. our sonic lock activated and that explains why I never came through here before right, so what are we what are we what are we looking at here what do we got what's what's going on what's the situation Ball track. All right, so we have to navigate the big orb for some reason or another. That will get us something. Jerks. Well, that's not what I wanted to do by any means, but... Stupid thrashing tendrils. Ah, there we go. get out of here. Um, there's actually a couple doors out of here. Oh, well, would you look at that? That's the exact door that leads to the boss. Had I looked at the map, I would have known. Uh, yep, that would be the temple itself. So we are going to turn around and go do these other couple rooms first. Ow. Okay. Not sure what kind of light those are, but it's the bad kind of light. It's the hurdy kind of light. 
which I didn't think existed in this game. I thought light was light. friend too. What do we have? Oh, another ammo chamber. Alright. I'm okay with that. Refill my beams before I go and fight the boss. save and today we get to fight the big robot if I can figure out how to get down here safely since I'm down a bit of energy after shenaniganzing through all of that Here we go. Boss fight time. So I do wonder what's down there. I'd have to guess absolutely nothing, but you know, could be wrong. I'm going to collect this last, uh, refill my last little bit of energy, because it's slightly impactful. By slightly impactful, I mean, again, boss fight, so. There he is. Here he is. Here's the boy. One of, if not the biggest boss I can ever remember facing outside of Shadow of the Colossus. It's kind of interesting that it's completely shut off until it's possessed. Alright. Quadraxis. Rogue high security drone. Heavily armed and armored mechanoid. Lightly armored foot joints and are vulnerable to bomb and boost attacks. The Quadraxis unit went rogue and entered the service of the Ing. Its primary weapon system fires destructive matter antimatter blasts. It uses a powerful missile battery for long distance attacks. Quadraxis is incredibly durable and well armored, but it, its leg and foot joints are vulnerable. Damaging these joints will eventually render it immobile. moving your stompy bits.
Okay, I can lock onto the things, but I can't damage the things. Feet again. You only got two working knees right now. Ow. Ow. broken its feet. But like every other quad drone, it does not care. Uh, damage Quadraxis. Dedicated sensory building unit. Main body rendered immobile. Sonic tactical data burst detected. Destroy transmitter to disrupt operations. Though the main body is disabled, the tactical control unit within it is still active. It will guide the head module in battle via high, son high sonic transmissions. Disabling this module will impair the head, uh, head module's ability to fight. Yeah, speaking of, I'm about to get blasted. Shielded head module. Command module of the guardian unit. High, highly mobile and well armed. Impervious force shield protects it from harm. Receiving tactical data via high sonic transmissions. Yes, it is the big boy. Quadi have a bunch of different scannables or something. Yes, he does. There's five. The head module of the Quadraxis is highly mobile and well armed. It is shielded by an impervious force field. Tactical commands are sent to the module from the crippled main body. Sever this link to impair the head module's combat ability. Which I can't just. You have to do that. Now this presents a different scan, which is the stunned head module. 
Uh, unit is vulnerable, shield offline, unit is generating drones for defense while trying to restore Sonic tactical link with main body. Uh, destroy Sonic receptor receptors on the unit to prevent this. So then you have to... Do that. I don't think these guys... Okay, no, these ones don't. Now we get into this where I have to deal with the, the quad robot. Stun the head. That's not what I wanted to do. That's about the only downside is you can't uh, can't easily destroy the bodies. really just a dragged out fight because of that. Amazing how strong those men are. Alright, so now we've dealt significant damage to it and it's starting to lose control. And now we can scan it one more time. Last Quadraxis. Final head module. Tactical ability reduced. Unit now vulnerable. Link to main body severed. Two weak points detected. Target them with concussive blast to damage the unit. The module's lost its tactical link to the main body. Two points of structural weakness have been located on its hull. More fall bombs can cause damage to these areas. Scans indicate that the spider ball can attach to the module's outer hull. So now comes the fun part. Where you have to... You've got to stun it with damage. And then get up onto it. A lot of it boils down to hoping that it floats in the right freaking direction. Because it doesn't stay stunned for very long. No. It's, it's going to be unstunned. Made it. Get in the slot. There we go. Oh, cool. If you don't manage to actually get in the slot and bomb it before it unstuns, it'll just zap you off. Yeah. Uh, had dinner with a few people, so didn't get home till later, so starting a little bit later.
Ah, there it is. There's the cool beam. The do everything gun. The unreality weapon. The annihilator beam. It uses ammo from both weapons. Fires blast of matter antimatter. Which, you know, combine upon impact and then explode and cause someone a very big headache. And I'm not entirely sure how the physics of it work, but they do, so that's just all there is to it. Uh, and I believe, yes, that is... This is, in fact, the door that I want. Now we liberate the third energy controller. We save the sanctuary, more or less. We don't waste ammo that we don't have to. Oh, I mean, if there's de if there's any thing that's magic in this game, it's it's the annihilator beam, matter antimatter blasts for sure. Let's drain this puppy. It it you can. It's very difficult though. And there aren't exactly a lot of breakable crates or things around for me to get more right now, so... I'd rather not use up what I have at the moment. I'd rather hold on to it and come back for it later. Or use what I need and not spend a whole bunch extra. Despite the fact that this weapon is ridiculous and will spread through basically any enemy in the game. No! You need to get up there. That's not fair. That was just rude. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. I don't think that there's... Ah, the last basic type of ing. The Ing Storm, cluster of corrosive darklings. Contact with target swarm not recommended. Capable of corroding steel. The Ing Storm is a collective swarm of tiny Ing. When banded together, they can emit destructive energy that, over time, could break down the most durable of alloys. In other words, pain to walk through. Okay, so... Then we can scan the last of the crystals. Uh, super crystal. Crystal's energy draws Ings into destructive field. When charged with light and dark energy at once, the crystal becomes a beacon to the Ing. They are compelled to approach it despite the deadly field of energy it emits. In other words, haha -ha, nana boo boo, stick your head and doo doo. Yeah, I don't care about you guys. We're just gonna leave. We have better things to do than stick around and play with clowns. 
to do that at work all day anyway. Just present for you. Hey. Don't give backsies. Jerk. Take your gift and be happy about it. I will not stand for this. Sorry, no refunds here. I'm trying to do this in a way that doesn't waste ammo. I screwed that up, obviously. Used up even more ammo on that. Alright, so... A simple missile expansion. Not like it's a difficult puzzle once you have uh, have the right gear for it, though. So, all right. So we're just going to take the simple way across. And this is it. Temple 3 of 4 down. After this, we get to go on the wild key hunt. By wild, I mean slightly obnoxious key hunt. And then to the final boss. Which I think we have another fight with Dark Samus somewhere along the way, because we've only fought her twice so far, and I know there's a total of four. And we start the generator. It's not a generator, it's a controller. But we're going to recharge the controller. Get that nice mini sun going. Yeah, just like that. the weather controller and bring a little bit of sunshine back to the sanctuary and we make you most the happiest moth on the planet the only moth on the planet right now the only well, the only awake moth on the planet. And he now gets to see something he never thought he'd see again. Which is all the lights turned back on. I will give these moths all the lamp they can handle. It's fine. It's just light. It's got a glass cage around it. It'll be okay. I hope. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway. We have... Um, we have basically one thing to grab on the way out. Oh, I forgot about this room. Actually, you know what? I'm sure there's some fancy hokey pokey I can do in here now. I 
Dobrý. Yeah, target appears to be linked to Sonic security system. enough. I mean, I figured by that point I had to have whatever to get me through that, because there's only one item I don't have yet. And that is our ultimate, that is our next big destination, so... Okay, so we need to switch... cannon which breaks the thing and gets us power bomb expansion and that's about it I really hope that wasn't uh, wasn't important to the continued function of this fortress but you know right, come on let me in gonna run over to the save station since, you know, we've beaten the boss, got the weapon, and moved the energy around. I'd rather not have to redo all of that. Even though Quadraxis was nowhere near as difficult as I thought he was going to be. Not sure if he was just always easier than... I anticipated or if I've just actually gotten good enough at this game to beat him that easily. However, I can say with certainty that it, had I not changed the lock-on mode, oh, that would have been annoying. Alright, so... And it's basically just drop down through the dynamo and... Dynamo access, I guess. We're on our way out. We finally get to abandon the goofy project car look. Please, Mr. Security Crates, can I have some ammo? And the missiles, thank you. Alright. Man, if only you were on GameCube, you could have a button for lock on. So there's actually an option to change it from the what I was playing with before which is you lock on to the general like you keep your screen focused on an enemy and have still have to manually aim and there's an option that when you're locked on it's an actual lock on like on the GameCube I had no idea that was a thing until someone kindly came in and told me about it at which point I immediately switched it and life got a hundred times easier. He 
because, you know, then I didn't have to fiddle around with trying to, to waggle to aim at something and to move around and keep myself alive all at the same time. Which I was incredibly appreciative of. And now I can play the game in a manner much more akin to the way it was originally made. Boom. Made it. Got across, just like that. Easy peasy. You moss, I have fantastic news for you. I'm coming to say hello. Yeah, that's it's kind of one thing I could never understand about. Uh, that's one change I never really understood about this game like I don't think that option exists in Prime 3 because Prime 3 was natively made for the Wii so probably just works and well I know it just works but watching eyes. That should have been my first giveaway. Can you not? So we basically hit the part of the game where we're going to get the final suit and then run back through all the areas looking for the last goodies. Oh, uh, well, you know. God Howard can say things all he wants, but at the end of the day, like everything else in a Bethesda game, it's the fans that make it work. Uh, yes, straight across. stuttery camera. That was weird. The light of Aether shines from all three temples once more. And yet, dark Aether remains. One energy controller still shines in the darkness, sustaining the world. The Sky Temple, dark shadow of this hallowed place, holds the final energy controller. The greatest and most powerful beast of the Ing keeps guard over what you seek. The nine keys to the Sky Temple have been hidden in each land of the Dark World. Finding them will be perilous, but... I offer you this blessed suit of armor, energized by the light of Aether itself. Its power will help you reach these final keys. May it serve you well in the darkness. We fixed the lamp, now we get to be the lamp. No more project, Carla, thank you. Praise lamp.
The size of the suit is much more reasonable now. Light suit acquired. You can now ride along beams of light. Additional data downloaded to inventory screen. Press 2 to access inventory screen. Blah, 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 blah. Character package unlocked for purchase. The last stronghold of the Ing remains. Seek its nine keys to gain entry. Once you reach the Sky Temple, let nothing stay your hand. Okay, thanks, you moss. Uh, we're going to start with Agon. Fast travel unlocked. No, this is the one game with no Ridley appearance. A single Metroid without a Ridley. Yeah, the key hunt is, is sort of the odd failing of the Prime series, but... At the very least, the reason they did it, Retro has stated, is because they want to give you a chance to run around with all the toys. Oh, uh, yeah, technically he's not in Dread. That's right. Dread is still so new compared to all the other games that I forget it exists a lot of times. Uh, I do want to go to the Sand Canyon. I can cross the sand canyon now. Look at our shiny white light ball. Uh, okay, did not overshoot. It's worried for a second. Alright, what is this? Denzium? Yep. And we're just gonna... Whoopsies! Dump that off into the abyss. Really afraid of the number two and also just afraid in general. They got rid of the two for Samus Return so he's able to appear there. <laughs> ah, it's just an ancient statue that we sent crumbling into the dark, into the, you know, bottomless pit of, uh, of eternity. It's fine. So there are a few, there's a few places that we haven't explored here yet. Which, I think there's like three keys, no. It makes sense if there was three keys per area, but I know there's at least one in the temple grounds, so that's not true. It's fine, M lamp, the Mothman won't mind. <laughs> Samus, I heard you destroy this ancient statue. Samus slowly turns up the brightness of soup. I can't remember what I was about to ask you. I believe I was agitated about something, but I can't remember what it was. Alright, so... one that you actually have to do bomb jumps for. Damn it. Oh, come on. There we go. I do want the E-Tank. Even though at this point the Dark World isn't going to hurt me. 
It's just nice to have. What am I missing there? I think I'm supposed to jump in the middle, not on the side. Third time's the charm. We don't fall down. There we go. Pick blocks. Yeah. Okay. That's what all the cracks in the wall were for. Getting to praise. <laughs> Getting to praise lamp. I am the lamp. So in here, there is a door that I didn't get to go through previously because it was hidden behind. Oh. Yeah, he didn't want to do that, pal. What do we have in here? Yeah, missile expansion. All right. That's fine. It's fair. Seems like a lot of effort for that, but all right. Uh, and then I want to get up to... Up to there-ish... That is that is not where I want to be. I want to be in the center bit. By center bit, I mean the Actual spinny boy. And I fell out of the half light. There we go. Up and in. Yeah, up there. That's where I want to be. Question is, can I actually get up there? Can I actually not? Is this room actually like one way? So that's incredibly disappointing. It is. Oh, that's that's disappointing. All right, that's all right. We'll we'll go around. Cut back through the temple itself. Look at how brightly the morph ball glows when you charge up the boost. I am a shiny ball. Alright. Well, that didn't work out as I expected, but the problem's been dealt with, so I can't be too upset. Is that? 
No, that's not war. Alright, your life privileges have been revoked. Here, I want to get back to the like main first big room you come into for this area. I think, yeah, I got whatever was in here. I think it was an energy tank because there's something to do, there's some sort of advanced lock to do with this bridge. Uh, Part uses the mouse security system connected to a sonic control. Sonic detection gear needed to interface, neutralizing the control emitter may affect the lens. So there's that. That one. And there's that. That opens up an E tank. Cool. Question is can I cleanly jump to it? Um, apparently no is the answer. Apparently get smacked out of screw attack was the answer to that. By what? I'm not sure. But something said no screw attack for you. Either that or I think I just really waited like a second too long. Well, let's see how many attempts it takes to get to this. So close. Now, I think instead of it being praise lamp, it should really just be praise the sun because all the energy controllers just look like little suns in glass jars. Ah! That and I can always go for some more praise the sun memes. Eh, Mothman, Lamp, Lamp, Sun, etc., etc. Oh, I'm so close. This one's just difficult to get because of the small space you have to be able to jump into. Can't I just jump into the light beam and ride it in? It's apparently what this suit does. I feel like I'm just not going to make it if I don't jump a third time. Okay, uh, but I, okay. Wish it didn't kick me back like that, it would be a little bit better. 
Alright, you know what? Let's let's just try straight straight on. Two, three, four. Ah Game, give me E tank. Stop withholding delicious, delicious energy. Specifically made it a point not to jump that time so that I wouldn't get kicked out, but apparently that's not good enough. starting to agitate me now, game. Ah, I hope so much for any hidden platform that I can just, uh... Aha! Gotcha! forever. Alright, uh... Now, realistically... Or... Moving off... Key bear lore, which we're missing some of, which isn't good. Uh, catacombs... Lagoon. Reactor. Oh. That comes Lagoon. Reactor. Mining station. Okay, Catacombs Reactor. Lagoon. Mining station. So it's either in there. Okay, so there's one in here. That comes Lagoon Mining Station. So it's either dead ahead in here, or back over here, and I don't remember which one has the telltale Luminoth body in it. Uh, the extra jump though, it's too much. Uh, believe me, I'm not sandbagging for content, I'd like to get on to, to the next game. Um, okay, so... Oh, I actually can't get to that mining station this way. Alright, well. Back this way, then. Need to go through here and to the main reactor. Which are both along the same path, more or less. That was laughably easy. Uh, Denzium, huh? What is that? Oh, there's a missile expansion up here. Alright, so first order of business.
Is this a room with a key? Or is it, in fact, the other? No, so it looks like it's the other mining station. So let's... All the time I spent mucking about in there already. We're going right back. Getting through, going through the mining station isn't that big of a deal because of the fact that it's, it's got its own portal. So it's one of the easier keys to get a hold of once you get in there. Wait, I can shortcut down. Somewhere in here. I thought there was at least an outline of it in the light world if you had the dark visor, but maybe I'm wrong. case it's in this room I just need to go to the dark world to pick it up oh well it's here and we're gonna find it but now, the atmosphere of Dark Aether doesn't bother us. Actually, let's do something funny. And by funny, I mean I guess it makes me a bastard to do, but oh well. somewhere. Not that. And that's the last of the light beacons. Same as with the crystal. Whenever you use the annihilator beam, it makes it into a thing that they both want and do not want at the same time. But also, it doesn't matter because I have free roam on now. Where the hell is it? Star Temple Keys. No, I just have the one... I 
definitely just have the one from the these the hive, not not any of the other ones, so There has to be a key here. It's just a matter of where is it? Why can't I find it? station. There's definitely one there. Can I actually get through, get to there? No, I can't. It's just a long path. Alright, well... We can run around through here and... Look for another... Oh... That's right, this is just a dead end. Slowly day and dark, either you are a horrible bounty hunter. No, well, there's definitely a horrible bounty hunter somewhere on dark, either. I wouldn't say that it's me. She's definitely on the loose somewhere. That much is for certain. Where, though? I have no idea. Alright, we're gonna head over to Pirate Town. Hijack their portal. go find a key. At least I think this goes to... Yeah, it does. Okay. This does go to Pirate Facility. Hello, Pirates! It's me! a key here. So I need to go through the dark door. And 
that will put me in a room with portal. You guys actually not completely given up yet? Oh, that's right. These ones are just normal pirates. I guess that was a bit excessive. But oh well. Pirates are pirates. They will meet the fate that they deserve. Alright, so... Yeah, there's where I want to go. There's a couple little rooms to go and explore in here that have goodies in them. Yeah, yeah. like an entire section of this room that I can't access. Section walls, large amounts of densium. I see. Okay, well the water apparently just doesn't bother us anymore, so... I should probably scan one of those. Alright, well, that's two keys. There's a difference between the kinds of pirating that we do and the kind of pirate that I'm talking about in this game. We all know it. One of us is a harmless little, you know... Wow. How would, you, how would I put this? One of us definitely does not affect somebody's bottom line. No matter what they might say. Okay, save station. I'd like to get to the phase on site and look around in... Look around at whatever's beyond that annihilator door. I'm not sure what it is, but it's probably something nice. Might even be the th uh, third beam ammo upgrade, which I would love to have. Just some phase on tanks. Ow. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Mm. 
That's right. Oh, Dark Metroids. I forgot this has a slight homing capability. above me somewhere. It is up there. What do we have behind Annihilation Door? It is in fact a beam ammo upgrade. Perfect. Or no. No, that's the sonic boom. Even better. This powerful attack uses five missiles. Using the annihilator beam, press an old A to charge, then press down to fire. Additional data downloaded to inventory screen. Inventory, weapon systems, charge combos. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom is the Annihilator charge combo. It, project, it projects a wave of sonic force. Sonic Boom costs 5 missiles, 30 light ammo, and 30 dark ammo to fire. The Sonic Boom is the most effective against multiple targets in an area. That is officially all weapon systems. We are missing keys count towards inventory. Eh, not what I thought that was going to be, but I'll take it anyway. Um, PlayStation A. Yeah, we can make a run for it. 30 of each ammo. I only had to pay $25. Well, uh, I never bought that game, so I haven't paid anything for it. Whoop. Okay, well. That was less than ideal. Easy enough. Which way am I trying to go now? This way. No. Light beam. This way. Excuse me. The dark soup is not a hindrance anymore. Come on. Come here. Not the right beacon, but all right, whatever. Don't let me ruin your dreams. Gateway to Sky Temple active. Nine keys required to access that. Yes, I know. Turn keys. Yes, I'm. I'm aware. I'm looking for them. Thank you. 
Yes, thank you, hint system. I'm definitely not in the process of tracking them down. So, dealing with Aang becomes incredibly easy once you have the Annihilator Beam because you can just trick them into running headfirst into things that will kill them. And by trick them, I mean... I mean, well... It's not even that much of a trick, is it? Okay, so no, it has to be... It has to be in here, because that's where the Luminoth is. Very strange. Oh, you you paid for the cartoon too? Wow. I just watched it on Hulu. It was a great time. Alright, but anyway. Uh that's our two hour block of time. We found uh quite a lot of stuff and one of the keys we need. Uh the next key is in here. It has to be in here somewhere. Like I'm not sure how I kept missing it but it has to be in here somewhere. So, excuse me. It is nice to own things sometimes, to physically own things. That's pretty much why I still try to buy console games physically. Anyway, like I said, uh, two hour blocks done. Uh, donate to Extra Life if you enjoyed the stream and you have a few extra bucks. I'm not gonna stress out if you can't. It's just a great way to help children's hospitals. Uh, follow twi follow me on Twitter at Omega Sonic Zero for scheduling updates like the one I posted today about starting later. Um, be back on Thursday, hopefully. Hopefully, there may be a major wrench in the works for when I start on Thursday. I'm not sure yet. I won't know until tomorrow night. Well, I won't know until Thursday actually, because I have no control over it. But anyway. Uh, hope to see you all on Thursday for something new where we play with fundamental forces of nature. Um, Black Mesa on Sunday, which I think we're close to the end of that. Not sure. More Prime 2 next week. Probably running through the entire grab the keys thing. Uh, you know, because that's an important part of the game. Anyway, thank you all so much for coming. Enjoy your evening. I hope to see you sometime in the future. Thursday, Sunday, next Saturday, next Tuesday. Whatever. Take care, everybody, and good night.